state. And I've got Barry's. I, I, if you haven't picked up Barry's book, it's too nice for sales, great for scripting, great for understanding how to better approach the relationship aspect of your business. Great book. I've, I wrote the forward. And then, of course, you've got my book just came out in April, doing very well, Real Estate Prospecting. Now, you would think, why the hell are you reading more books about real estate, Tristan? Well, look, uh, I've got a couple. First, let me show you the ones I've read and then the ones I ordered because I ordered a whole bunch of them. Uh, for me, one of the best ones originally uh, was the Shift book. The Shift book is really good. Obviously, if you haven't picked it up, I have the, the bound one, the spiral one with the little tabs. Really good. And then this one ended up being a really favorite, a uh, really great uh, favorite of mine. It's called Fanatical Prospecting. If you haven't picked it up, I've got this one tabbed up. Uh, this one was very, very good. Jeb, Jeb is a good, smart man. Now, here are the other books. And there's always Ninja Selling. Ninja Selling is awesome. By the way, if you're watching this, just let me know what book you've read, what recommendations you have, and so forth. What's up, buddy? What's up, Robert? Yeah, Jeb Blount's amazing. So here, here are one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the six I'm reading next because I, I'm like, you know what? What am I missing? What else can I do differently? This one had a lot of reviews. It's on the smaller side. It's called Exactly What to Say by two of my friends, Chris Smith and Jimmy Mackin. This one I haven't even opened. It's just got a whole mess load of reviews and I kept on getting... I kept on getting uh, people telling me that I should pick it up. So uh, this is good. Atomic Habits, great book. Loved it. This one, I don't know. Uh, I don't know who this is. Again, I just picked up books based on what I looked at the table of contents. And I'm like, these look good. Uh, Chris Voss, Never Split the Difference. Amazing. I have that one on my left here. That one's itemized. This one's called Real Estate Professional. How Realtors Can Grow Their Sales Business from Zero to 500,000 plus in a post pandemic driven world uh, by Jonathan Fox. I don't know this guy. I don't know the book. It looks like it was self published, but uh, it might be great. I looked at the table of contents. It looks pretty, pretty well done. Some great topics. So I'm excited to dive deep in on this one. And then every time I kept on looking at, at how well my book was doing, cause you know, I'm always checking. Dude, I wrote my book. You know, what can I do? This one, I kept on seeing Erin, and Erin is a friend of mine. And so I know she just came up with this book. That's her. She's in Lab Code. So let me see if I can show her. She's in Lab Code Agents. Great, great, awesome person. And this one's called The Real Estate Agent Generate More Leads, Clients, Referrals. So I'm like, I know Erin. And I'm going to read her book. I want to take a look at what's inside of this. So I'm excited to read this one. And then I came across this one because a few of you had mentioned to me that this lady, Karen Carr, was really good on social media, specifically on YouTube. And even though when I ordered the book, it's super thin. And I read some amazing books on YouTube, like Daryl Eve's YouTube formula, pick that one up. Uh, this one's super thin. And I mean, I, I don't know how good it is, but it got pretty great reviews. And I know a lot of you keep on telling me that she's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to take a look at this one. I'm going to read this one. This one I'll probably read in a few hours, but I have a feeling there's going to be some good stuff on there. So it'll probably take me a few days to digest. Um, then I've got this one. It's called, it's by Nick Sai, the new real estate agents handbook. And even though it's a little crooked, you can tell it's it's um, it's self-published. I actually really liked the contents from when I was reading it. So hopefully it's pretty good. This guy's a digital marketer. Let me see if you can see that digital marketer. And I know it's reversed, guys. So just you know, thank you for that. And he is selling some stuff in there, in and out. I was looking at it, but some pretty decent content overall. And I don't have the other book here with me, but I did order another book outside of real estate that one of my friends recommended since, since one of you brought up Atomic Habits. This one is, has, a, has a great, great quote by James Clear. It says, a goldmine of actionable ideas 
and useful advice from top performers in all fields. It's called Hidden Genius. And so I'm going to pick up, I'm going to read this one probably not until August, but I'm going to read Hidden Genius then. Um, look, if you haven't picked up any of these books, I can tell you fanatical prospecting is insanely good. Uh, Too Nice for Sales is great. I wrote the forward. Uh, and Barry's a really smart dude. Uh, number one agent for Better Homes and Gardens. And this one. Uh, pick this one up. I put a lot of research into this so you can see all the breakdowns. It's not like a normal book, so you're going to be stuck on some pages. And um, I, I'm not going to put up the the list here, but hopefully you can stop and pause and rewind and go back. But tell me tell me what uh, what you've been reading here. I know Robert. I've got you here. It says, passive prospecting, dominate your market without cold calling. Um, you know, somebody told me about that this morning, uh, Robert, passive prospecting. Is that the one that has like uh, a design of a coffee cup, like a uh, circle around there, like a stain, like a coffee cup stain? Is that the one? Uh, tell me about that one. And starting good to great. Okay, so good to great is on a whole different level. Uh, I can't see who who uh, who mentioned that. That's in the like top ten ever books. Good to great. Uh, and if you're going to read that, you might as well read Built to Last. Both absolutely on a different level. Uh, rejection proof. Uh, yes, rejection proof. Really good. And I agree with you, Victor. All Ziggs and Jim Rohn. It's really hard to beat any of those old school good great books. Very very good. And if you're watching this after I'm done and it's not live, just leave your comments. I'm going to be looking through. I read a lot. Um, the books behind me upstairs are not just for design. I read it. I'm a history major and I went to law school. So I read a mess load. Uh, so any good books, let me know. And I usually take time to digest them and, and go through them. Let's see, Robert, I think. No. Oh, passive prospecting. Oh, Robert, I interviewed those guys, man. I just got your picture. I did. I interviewed those guys. Thank you for telling me. I didn't even know that that was the name of the book. I remember now interviewing them, dude. Um, thanks. Thanks for sending that. Uh, YouTube secrets. Yes. You know, in fact, hold, hold your horses, Robert. Hold your horses. I brought on Sean Cannell and I went over YouTube secrets with him. When I interviewed him, let me see here. Here it is. I'm going to send that over. Oh, I can't send it in here. Damn it. Uh, do me a favor, everyone. Look up Sean Cannell and Tristan Almada on YouTube. And you'll see that hour, hour and a half of video we break down. Not we. He breaks down YouTube in such an easy way for you to actually start using it. Uh, Robert, you've got to watch that, my friend. That one's a great one. Um, dominant thoughts. I haven't read that one. Getting to neutral. Just got that today. That I think I have that one. That's on my, on one of my lists to read. Ryan, uh, Seth Godin's new book. Did read it. Song of Significance. Uh, he sent me the, the copy before it came out because I interviewed him on my podcast. So that was a really good interview. Ryan, if you want to listen to that one, that one was great, man. Um, Seth is such a great guy. In fact, I recorded the podcast upstairs and he said, Hey man, before we started, he's like, um, you've got a really good lens, uh, but let me give you a recommendation. And he actually recommended what lens I should get because his was super clear. And I was like, damn. So he gave me advice on, uh, on what, what lens I should get while recording this. And, uh, thanks Robert. Appreciate that. The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. I read that one a while ago. That one was a great one. And I have, uh, let me see, Fable Fulfilling. Yes, it's a good one. All right, everyone. Thank you. I I've got a couple of other ones that are on my to read list. Uh, one of my friends sent me this one. It's called The Mind of the Strategist. Um, this one's probably going to be some reading material during Thanksgiving a little bit later on. Uh, but I've got my hands full of books I need to read. And I usually read in the evenings or on the weekends. So thank you, everybody. Hope you're having an awesome night. Atomic Habits, Sam, best best book um, 
for me, top 15, not top 10, but uh, definitely in the top, which is crazy. Uh, still, I love Extreme Ownership, probably my favorite book. And and then I always go to the to the Daily Stoic, Ryan Holiday, great continual uh, reading their daily devotional. Uh, Built to Last, Good to Great, The Alchemist, uh, a lot of great books there. And then I just read Winning by Tim Grover. That will kick you in the face and in the ass and everywhere else. If you want that, read it. It'll make you feel like you're just not doing enough and you need to get to work. So that one, if, if you want somebody to kick you and slap you, that's the one for you and listen to it on Audible. It's really good. Essentialism, really good. Actually, I was talking to Dan. Uh, he's uh, one of my director of ops. Uh, we He read that one and then I read it as well. So great book as well. Awesome. Everyone have a good night. I will see you tomorrow.